The Coast Guard says a fisherman from Brixham is lucky to be alive tonight after being washed overboard in Force 11 storms. He was wearing a life jacket that helped him float in the freezing water for an hour before he was rescued. A paramedic winches down from the helicopter to the fisherman below. It's dark and the wind is gusting at 70 miles an hour. He was looking up to the aircraft, but he contact with a casualty. He did put his arm out to me. The current sweeps them both away, but quickly the fisherman is lifted to safety. Once we got into the airframe, we have to, I have to ask him a list of questions to find out his condition. He smiled and he was very relieved to see us. The crew say the boat was hit by a huge wave that knocked the fisherman off his feet and washed him into the sea. The Amelia Jane had been fishing for cuttlefish 25 miles off the coast of South Devon. This afternoon her crew were back in Brixham and told me the conditions were horrendous. Skipper was saying, oh, he's gone, he's gone. Obviously, he was a crewman on the deck. We know it's Regan. So I uh, automatically hit the stress button and put a mayday call out while the skipper was trying to look for the casualty. And then uh, all quick from there was just keep keep pounding, keep pounding the same bit of ground that we, that we lost him, you know. The crew is being praised for acting so quickly and for wearing life jackets while at sea, two things that the Coast Guard says saved the fisherman's life. Now it was a happy ending, isn't it? You know, four o'clock this morning, you know, we was all crying and all that, you know what I mean? We, the, the world's over, isn't it? You know, we've got all that guilt and whatever, but now he's, he's done the right thing, picked up his life jacket and everything's happy, isn't it? He's, he's, he's home and safe and well and we're all home safe and well ourselves. So. Tonight, Regan's home with his family. He didn't want to be interviewed, but told me he's grateful for both the bravery of those that came to his aid and his life jacket. Duncan Snyteholm, BBC Spotlight, Brixham.